All right, so this is semen retention, day 271. Hopefully you can hear me if you want to hear me. I am smoking. I have the window rolled down. Advice for older people. Like, most of my advice I give, you know, for, like, my age group because, uh, well, I, I didn't have a regular... You know, young life or whatever. Um, I started partying like when I was 18 and I stopped when I was like 18 and a half or 19. So I only partied for a little bit. And then I got married, so. Um, yeah, I don't have any young people advice. Um, but I'm gonna try to share a little bit of young people advice that I can and I'm not an expert I'm not a financial person or anything like that just stuff that I would tell the younger people maybe the 18 years year olds I have my stepdaughter that just turned 18 a while back and she just started working so um, I you know think back on maybe what I would have done a little differently and one thing is save money like don't spend all of your check like learn to live off of like 70% of your check like always leave room to save and invest um and of course save for emergencies and all that stuff so i would accustom myself to not spending all of my check and if i got a credit card credit cards are tough to deal with like because you know you want something you buy it and maybe you can't afford it too well so um i mean there is like risk taking and all that stuff and I'm all for that, but uh, I'd play it like a little bit on the safer side. But the thing is, if I had a million dollars when I was 18 years old, I probably would have thrown a lot of it away. And if I have a million dollars now, I would probably do a lot better with the money. So in a way, it's kind of good that I didn't invest in Bitcoin when I had like a small opportunity to invest in it when it was like five, ten bucks or whatever. And I didn't go for it. Even when it was like 400, I had another chance. And I just, I didn't go for it or whatever. But I'm like, good because I probably would have sold it when it went up like 10 bucks or when it was 400, if it went up to 800, I probably would have, uh, you know, sold it and, you know, bought like crap or stuff that really wasn't for the future. So, I definitely recommend not waste, not using up all your paycheck. Like if you have to move into a house and you got to spend all your paycheck, if you have to, then, you know, well, then you're stuck pretty much. But I would try to live off of like 70% of my check and save and invest the rest. Now investments, uh, they're kind of tricky. If you have something you want to do, like a career, um, you know, college, get like a degree for something that you're pretty sure <laughs> that you're going to be able to get a job in. And, you you know, you've done your research, like, you know, there's a lot of those jobs available. Yeah, go for it. I, I went to truck driving school and paid, uh, you know, like four grand on credit, but uh, through this, through the company they let me borrow the money and I had to pay back so something like that you know is good but and of course you know everybody's destiny is a little bit different you know like some of us have to like mess up for you know to learn or whatever you know I I've wasted hundreds of thousands of dollars like learning and now I have a lot of knowledge, but, you know, I'm kind of stuck in debt a little bit, and 
Uh, just because I have more knowledge doesn't not mean that, you know, I could become rich fast or whatever. It's still a slow process. Uh, I mean, there's luck out there. There's, you know, like if people would have bought houses in like 2019 or whatever, they would have done really good. That was like the bottom of the market where everything was cheap. Interest rate were cheap. Cheap. I bought my truck there and my truck payment 600 bucks and if I go buy the same truck now it'd be probably like a thousand dollars so like I'm saving like four hundred dollars a month so like that I took a risk and it paid off um, I bought a pro I bought property at the height of the market and you know it's a struggle to pay it so I'm pretty much left with very little money at the end of the month if any so but I took a chance like I'm 36 years old like I had to take a chance like if I didn't do it then I was like I'm probably not gonna do whatever so and real estate is something I've always wanted so I was like the opportunity came even though I didn't think I could afford it I went for it same thing with the truck so some risk taking is good um kind of like uh, you know I hate to give this advice but I would throw yourself into a hard situation and watch yourself get out of it you know because you know you're gonna exert more more energy in, into a more concentrated scenario like Let's say, I don't want to use this analogy, but let's say the house was on fire. You're going to get out of there like as fast as you can, you know, to survive. And same thing in life, you know, sometimes you can throw yourself into situations and you don't get out of there as fast as you can and it pays off or whatever. Or sometimes, you know, people go down with the fire. That happens as well. Um, but yeah, the saving part and investing, investing is kind of weird. Um, so the stock market, I'm in the stock market a little bit. I got over a grand in there. The most I've ever had is like three grand in there or something. And I've made money. I've lost money. But now I have the experience to like make more money and minimize my risk. I've already, you know, learned about it or whatever. I think the stock market is the easiest investment somebody could have and if you don't have a Webull account I'll put my Webull uh, link down below or you could go on it on your own I think it's the simplest investment you could do like the easiest and it probably doesn't pay as much as people want but Here's the thing, if you're not saving any money, then it's better to put the money in the stock market. If you're not, you know, saving any money, if you're not good at saving money, I'd, you know, I'd put it in the stock market and take my chances there rather than take my chances of just throwing the money away. At least there, it has a small chance of one day accumulating and giving back a lot. Uh, 401k, all that stuff. Yeah, do it or whatever. Um, I mean, this is all for people that don't have any bigger investments to get in or any businesses to run or anything. Then you got to start somewhere, and the stock market or the 401k is the easiest. Um, investing in cars, wow. I definitely want to invest in cars. I got my truck. It's almost paid for. And I bought it new. So I'm hoping it's going to last me at least 10 years. 10 more years. Without any major repairs or anything like that. So I'm like. Once I pay it off this year. Then. Um, you know I'll be looking at no car payment. For maybe 10 years. But I do plan on buying other vehicles. Because um, I have family and vehicles are always needed. So I do plan on investing in more vehicles. Right now, the interest rate is kind of high. The cars are kind of high or trucks, whatever. 
So it's not the best investment, but at this point in my life, I think I can handle buying another car after my car. Like it's, I know it's not the best investment, but it's still an investment. Um, worst case scenario, I could live in my car or truck, you know, till I get back on my feet if something were to happen. So, I mean, it's a decent investment. Right now, it's kind of high, so it's not the best investment, but I would definitely buy a car, uh, and I'm planning to buy more. Um, I might buy and resell at one point if I have more knowledge or more time. I know there's, you know, pro- people could probably get sued for selling junky cars or whatever, but um, I investing in a house houses are really high right now just the interest rate it seems like a a bad investment but i mean if you if you can like fight it out for 10 years then it becomes like a good investment after like 10 years you're like wow you know um of course markets do change price of houses can go lower and i suspect they're gonna go lower uh, in like 10 years, but right now I see them, you know, getting a little bit higher. Um, if you have your own property, obviously invest in some trees, but all the stuff, you know, you, you have to kind of get knowledge about it because I'm planting trees, but what if I plant them too close to the house? They'll break the house. That'll cost more or they'll damage like wire or electricity or, you know, stuff like that. So everything you pretty much have to do research on find out you know what pipes are where or whatever i i don't do this but i'm i just you know go with the flu flow or whatever so i'm not like the brightest person but i just do stuff i like doing stuff uh growing your own food and stuff uh if you can i definitely recommend that uh it can be expensive, but there are, you know, cheaper solutions or everything if you find them. And then it's just like any other investment. You can start small, growing, you know, buying a pack of seeds, uh, growing it. And then a year later, you're going to have like 10 times the seeds. And then a year after that, 10 times the seeds. So, it, you know, of course, you need like land or whatever, but... At least you won't have to buy the seeds and you can, you know, get a little bit of of harvest each year and stuff. So, and of course, I'm only speaking on the stuff that I know because there's a lot of areas that I don't know, like online marketing or all that stuff. I don't know much about that, so I wouldn't be able to tell you other area, other fields or areas that I don't know about. I could only tell you like what I know about or whatever. So... And investing, well, you could always lose your money investing. You could always give up on your investments. That happens as well. Um, Yeah, also investing in health. Health is, like, pretty important because you can, you know, buy cheap food or whatever. But when the doctor bills come, you know, then is that, like, a good trade-off or whatever. So... Um, yeah, so investing in health, uh, I mean, I probably contradict myself a lot because I smoke cigarettes or whatever. I know there's a risk of bad health there. Uh, I am human and I try to, um, you know, try to balance everything. I only allow myself to smoke so much a week and spend so much on, on stuff a week. You know, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, some people say invest in knowledge. Uh, so I don't know, uh, that'd require going to school and stuff. Like I'm past my, my prime in that. Like I have very little, uh, drive to go to school again, but I do want to learn computers a little bit. I might go there as a, you know, as a something I want to do and not something 
that really like to make money or whatever but if i end up making money there then you know it's okay or whatever um as far as hobbies and doing all that stuff yeah probably walking a little bit every day or picking up a habit uh a hobby like basketball or something you know to keep your body like working pretty good i'm gonna say stretch even though i don't stretch i would like to stretch more meditate uh breathing exercises um positive thinking i trying to help others without it leading to them hurting you or hurting someone else like i'd probably not allow anybody to live with me unless you know it's like direct family and i I'll, i could forgive them for you know anything or whatever how oh, or put up with them or whatever um but i wouldn't i wouldn't prefer it you know i like to live by myself well anyways i think that's all for this video a lot of knowledge and a little bit of time uh like i said i'm not a professional advisor or anything like that i'm just you know speaking thank you